Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Lake Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I'm going to tap into the energy that surrounds you at this time and see what message Spirit has for you. So if you're a cross watcher here for Aquarius, remember flip switch the roles, energies. Do not force any messages. Only take that which resonates to your story. All right, I have personal available. If you're interested, you can connect with me through the email provided. So show me the energy that surrounds Aquarius at this time. What is the message? Be bold and make the first move. So release fear is the message that I'm picking up. Be brave, be bold, be confident. Emotions are running high, possibly <laughs> try and control your emotions so you are able to um, progress in a way that shows your confidence, right? So don't get overwhelmed by emotions possibly is the message. So let's clarify this now with tarot. I'm gonna pull three cards. The first card will be your energy. Second card is going to be the challenge. And then third card will be the outcome. And I will clarify that as well as need be. So amazing. This is so crooked. <laughs> Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please show me the energy that surrounds the Aquarius Collective. What does Aquarius need to know at this time? Cross watchers, flip switch. Only take that which resonates. Show me the energy that surrounds Aquarius. Three of Wands, so you're waiting for something. So this is a message for you to stop waiting and take some action is what I feel with be bold, make the first move. Do not let emotions keep you from that which you desire, that which you want. We've got three of wands. That's Aries energy, right? It's about expectation, waiting for something. Hand kind of in the reverse validates that, right? You're not, it's about not being stagnant. Take, take control of the situation, right? It's time for you to take action, Aquarius. Show me the challenge to the situation for Aquarius. What is the challenge here? What is the challenge for Aquarius? Emotions. <laughs> oh, love it. Right? Because emotions are running high. So you have expectations. You're waiting for something. But the challenge is your heart. Oh, because you were deceived. So you have fear. Fear is keeping you from taking a bold move. It's keep Fear is keeping you stuck from trying again, possibly after having your heart broken. In regards to a love situation that lacked balance is what I feel. But you've learned a lot of lessons with the Page of Wands in the reverse, I feel. So you need to trust yourself. But that is the challenge at this time. You're afraid to give your heart. But you're ready. You're waiting for love. You want love is what I feel. But you're afraid. But the message for you is to be bold and to take the first move, Aquarius. So let's see what the outcome for this situation will be. Strength. So strength is Leo energy and it's about being courageous, right? So you will face your fears is what I feel. Indeed you will and you will find passion through that, right? King of Wands is on the other side, whether that's another person or yourself, right? Standing in your power and your strength, being bold, being brave because you are courageous and you have been through a lot and you've survived and you're better because of it is the message that I'm picking up for you. Right? So you have expectations for love. You want to have love. Queen of Cups, that's Pisces energy. No, Queen is Cancer, sorry. Right? You have love. You have lots of love to give, but you have to be brave enough to try. And I know that's scary, but on the other side is your power and your worth. Right? And as well as someone with the same potential. But you have possibly, you know, rushed into things in the past and you're fearful to make that choice or that same mistake again because you rushed into something in the past that cost you what you thought your future was going to look like is what I feel. So there is, um, let's get some clarity here. Why is the three of wands here for the energy that's around Aquarius? Give me more on the three of wands spirit. The sun. So happiness. You have expectation for happiness because you deserve happiness is what I feel. All right. Is what I'm picking up. So that's Leo energy. Strength's also Leo. 
So the message is very much about embodying the energy of the Leo sign, right? Being bold, being brave, being confident. Know what it is that you want. Know what it is that you deserve because you are so deserving with the sun here. I feel that you see something clearly now and you need to trust yourself in that. In regards to the past mistakes that were made with the four of wands. So we've got three of wands to the four of wands in the reverse. I feel that you are going into all um, relationship expectations with fear and doubt that shit's not going to work, right? So you're manifesting at this low vibration in regards to expectations to love and that it will keep you from happiness. You need to trust that you do see things clearly and that you have learned a lot of valuable lessons from your past is what I feel. Give me another card on the sun and the three of wands. But you are waiting to be happy and you so deserve to be happy. But you are recognizing that this isn't coming quickly with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, right? Knight of Pentacles is very um, slow, um, very grounded energy. You know that this isn't going to be easy and it hasn't come fast. I feel that you've been in a cycle for a long time learning some lessons. It's all about trusting and, and, and knowing that all of this happens within divine timing. You do see that clearly is what I feel. Give me more energy on the Queen of Cups for the challenge that surrounds Aquarius at this time. Give me more of the Queen of Cups spirit. Three of Cups in the reverse. Three of Cups that represents Cancer. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius. And then Justice. So possibly you were dealing with someone that put you in third party in the past. Possibly you are afraid to connect to others because of your wounds, because of your trauma is what I feel. Just know that karma is a factor here as well. I want more on that three of cups. Three of swords, yeah, you are releasing or healing from a situation where there was third party. King of Cups to the Queen of Cups because this was someone that you were very committed to. This is someone that you had a lot of love for in the past, right? So that is the challenge, is releasing the pain, right? And, and the unfairness of that disconnection, that's where your challenge is, is letting it go. Releasing it is what I feel with Nine of Wands to the Justice, but you survived it, right? You did survive it. I feel you were possibly betrayed by people that you love, not only by your partner, but possibly by others. And that is why you're so fearful to try again. But you will release this Three of Swords in the reverse. We've got Libra energy here. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Libra. And then the outcome. You are learning to be brave. Page of Swords energy. Right? You are learning about how strong you are. You are learning these valuable lessons. See how this uh, student is standing on the top of the books. Right? Because you've learned so much from your past. About whole, like being bold being brave and this is be bold make the first move like you hold yourself back a lot is what i'm picking up here aquarius and the message for you is to stop holding yourself back you need to trust yourself because you do see the situation clearly from the past you've learned so many valuable lessons right but the challenge truly is to keep your emotions in, intact right you need to continue to trust yourself but just know that you are making motions towards releasing this situation, this person that broke your heart. And you are going to be moving towards new love. But you will be doing so in a different way with the High Priestess. High Priestess is about, it's your energy for one thing. But it's about being very intuitively guided and trusted. You are a very powerful manifester. You are manifesting something new. A heart, a, a very um, open energy of love, right? But you just need to release the heartbreak from this past situation. And I just need to tell you and to remind you to trust yourself because you have done so much work and you have learned so many valuable lessons along the way about who to trust and what it is that's going to make you happy is what I feel. Let's see some advice for Aquarius moving forward, Spirit. What advice do you have for Aquarius? I mean, I think the advice here is very, very clear. Be bold and make the first move. I'm going to ask Spirit to show me what will the outcome be if you are bold and make the first move and see if this resonates. If Aquarius is bold and makes the first move, what will the outcome be, Spirit? If Aquarius takes your advice, what will the outcome be, Spirit? You will never be foolish again. 
in regards to anyone being deceptive. That is not a path that you will take again with the fool in the reverse to the five of swords is what I feel. Because the fool is about taking a leap of faith in that direction. And because it's in the reverse, you will never be foolish or deceived in the same way that you were in regards to someone that you were connected to that was empty. That is your past. Invest in self. Be bold. Be brave. Beautiful energy. Beautiful message, Aquarius. Thank you.